man, there's been a fuck of a lot as usual going on. And once again, I just don't know what to do as usual. When do I not, you know? When do I ever know what to do in life? I'm always like, I, I don't know. This everyday living thing is always a, a fucking goddamn adventure, but whatever. I got nothing else. I'm tired. I'm sick of doing this shit every fucking week. It's kind of what it feels like. It feels like I just, I don't want to fucking record videos every fucking week, you know? I'm tired as hell. I don't give myself enough time to, to take breaks and stuff. Ever. I never allow myself to. I'm always like making videos and doing all that fucking shit and, and writing a book but also writing a script for a stupid fucking series that everyone's got a million questions for and, and then I'll get weird comments about people you know wanting this this and that and it's just like man I don't really just as I suspected I did not want to do this for other people but like you kind of have to because how else are you going to get it inside the mind right yeah, you know, it's a weird, weird juxtaposition, juxtaposition, I don't know, that I find myself in and uh, I just don't really have the energy for this shit, you know. I used to be able to manage this shit. <clears throat> I used to be able to do it, but now it's getting so fucking difficult to, to, I have to make two videos a week. And that's like so small of an ask, you know what I mean? And they're not like hard videos to make. It's just this, and I just edit out either if I'm thinking too long, coughing too much, or or whatever. You know what I mean? That's all I gotta do. But it's still asking a lot. You gotta do that. But also on those days off, you need to make sure you at least kind of do something book-related. And I, it doesn't matter if I take a week off of nothing like I did. I'm still like, it's not enough. I almost need to take months off. Because I just, I can't, I'm having a really hard time staying focused in this shit or just keep doing it. I just feel like something's holding me down, you know? One could say it's myself. But I'm just exhausted because I'm like all the time trying to make all this shit work and trying to be as concise as I can and... I know there's like things that I could do better as I'm doing it, but I just, I'm like, there's a part of my mind that's like, I don't really know how, you know what I mean? Like I'm trying to figure out like, how do I do it better? Like how can I be more concise in these fucking forgotten scripts? Is it, is this good enough? Or is this under, like do people get what the fuck's happening here? And is the, like, I get a, I always had this worry. I've always had this worry that what if all these years of all this hard work trying to get this mythology out and it's just some like really like someone else will say oh this is a really cheesy stupid fucking thing and it's laughed at and people like kind of like watch it sarcastically I don't know how you say it but like when people will make fun of something they're watching I'm like man that would suck like all this hard work and it's not taken seriously I think that's partially why I, I'm so trying to stay serious when I'm doing this stuff. Because normally I'm not a serious person. Jo like, I always joke around a lot and stuff. But this is kind of like... This is the one time I'm like, maybe, maybe we need to be a bit more serious about this and to convey that. Because I take the work very seriously, so... It's like something I battle, you know? And, uh, it's really difficult to constantly stay in this and to finally take shape of it. As in, like, the, the mythology that's it's in, in, it's in my head. But I'm having to, like, well, I have to write it out. So I have to kind of make that incantation. I have to instead of this druidic, you could say, idea of like, it's oral. I have to like, 
fucking put it in words and, and put it out to the world. So it's, it's kind of weird for me to kind of do it this way. Because when you do it, you have to explore the story a lot um, more detailed. Not like necessarily day-to-day -day detail, but just like, I can't just say, then Dove pissed off Thies, and then he was banished. I have to like tell you exactly how and why. And so that becomes a fucking chore, because on the fly, I'm right now like, okay, how did this happen? But at the same time, like, yeah, but how can I make this entertaining and engaging? And at the same time, it's like, I'm my own editor, and I have to film this, and I have to think, like, how can I convey it in the video to these fucking people? You know what I mean? It's, just, it's a lot of fucking work, and you can clearly tell it needs more help, but I can't do it alone. You know, like, if it needs to be better, I should say, I, I, I can't. With the rate that I have, with the energy that I have, that I'm really trying to put this fucking thing out here, I just have so little to give. So I'm putting a fuck of a lot of myself into all this, this fucking channel, and I'm losing myself because this is everything to me. The book and the channel are kind of like interwoven, and it's everything. I don't do anything. I literally go to work, come home, and relax. And then when I'm not relaxing, like that would be after work, on my days off, I'm doing this book stuff and these fucking videos. It's just, that's all I'm doing. And I don't hang out with people. I haven't hung out with my friends in months. I don't do anything outside of work. I don't see family. I'm just constantly doing these fucking videos and writing in that damn book. And I just feel like it's taken so much of my life that I, I wonder how to continuously do this because I used to make videos almost every day they weren't very good but I did and I thought two just two videos but now it's like it's just a lot you know we have four series that are ongoing that I try to give myself some room to put um, when I'm not when I'm not like uh, into it. You know, I got the Forgotten Podcast series, which is just me exploring those journals and kind of going into the background of all this. There's the Forgotten series, which is the hardest fucking one because that one requires so much. There's the writing. I think I just called the writing series or something. And then there's the um, inner thoughts and that's that's the four I'm focusing on right now but it's a lot dude it's a fuck of a lot <laughs> yeah the inner thoughts series is, is kind of supposed to be it's just about the person that's making it this is what it's like when I'm alone I'm just thinking thinking out loud and thinking in front of a camera that one's the most personal. That's what this would be. It's just like, what do you what do you normally do? Let's just put a camera in front of it and just look at the camera. That's it. Because generally I'm thinking the same as I'm talking, but I'm not staring at anything. I have a pretend audience that I'm talking to. So that's that's not really me doing anything out of like I'm not going out of my way in that video. I'm just it's making sure that I'm looking at a camera and staying more on point. Usually I let myself trail off a lot more. Um, the Forgotten Podcast series can be kind of tough because I, I have to like sit and I like, think like where are these things in the journals you know if I'm only talking about the Forgotten King and all the journals I have to sit there and sift through it and like okay and then like you know what I mean like that one's kind of tough in that way try to go into a different headspace um, the writing series is kind of I don't even know what that is. That's just like, almost it's like the inner thoughts, but this is what I'm thinking about right before I start writing. And then the Forgotten series, season one, is the the actual work. It's just, it's it's me in real time making the Silmarillion, is what that is. I'm telling you all of the before stuff slowly and it's taking me it's taking me about a month and it's not even a work of month it's not a month of work it's like it might be two actual days of work maybe 24 hours but it just takes a month to get that out because i'm just so fucking exhausted and like all i literally have to do is copy in 
the last nine pages, just copy it in. And then just read it from the beginning and see if it's good and add wherever you need to add and fix the words and boom, slap it onto another document. And then um, start recording videos where you sp I have to splice in where I elaborate. That's all I gotta do. That's not that much work, but I'm so fucking exhausted that even that sounds like I can't, I can't do that. I don't even want to look at fucking words or I'm so look sick and tired of looking at words on a piece of paper or a document, you know? That's the one thing that I'm learning as a writer. I am fucking tired of words. I'm sick of like that. <laughs> I'm sick of having to elaborate on things like, well, what do you mean by that? You know, or having to fucking explain to people over and over and over again, because God forbid you go back and watch a fucking video. You know what I mean? I had to stop myself with that damn circle shit. How many times I kept explaining the fucking circle. And it's like, dude, if you can't be bothered to go back and look at other videos and what do they say, binge watch them? That's your fucking problem, man. I'm not going to sit here and continuously tell you every video the same fucking thing. So that was another thing I was getting irritated about because I don't know how to do this YouTube shit. You know, I'm not an entertainer. It's not what I'm trying to be. And I've, I've been meaning to say, like, you know, this channel, like, yeah, it's honest views for honest folk, and I'm looking for the right kind of people. But, like, you gotta keep in mind, like, this video is a, or this video, this channel is for myself. I make these videos for me. I entertain myself with this shit. This is what I find fun. And, and the minute, like, I'm doing that, and all of a sudden, like, someone comes in and, like, I wouldn't say challenges a thought, but definitely, like, kind of, wants you to to put it out it's like it's hard because it's like well i don't know it's not really for other people this is for me but then there's a confliction of like well you if you're making a book you're making a mythology it has to be with other people and for other people right and so i think i guess i guess it has to be so i feel this confliction of i want it to be just mine but at the same time i know it should be for other people so i balance this fucking shit in my head of how to how to do this, you know? I don't want to have to explain this shit. I want people to just fucking start figuring it out for themselves. You know what I mean? Instead of me, like, constantly leaving people on breadcrumbs, you know? I want them to just figure it out. I don't know. I'll say something like, uh, you know, the foundation of the circle. What is that? I don't know. Figure it out. Watch somewhere. Go look around on the channel. And if you, if you don't want to, then there you go. Go away. Like, that's kind of how I feel about it. Like, if you can't be bothered to, like, God forbid, you know, do a little bit of work, well, then I don't know what to tell you. Because it's, it's, I guess that's how it's felt my whole life. Like, how I've always felt. That I'm just walking into rooms and shit's happening and I'm the only one that doesn't understand what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, people will all, like, just somehow everyone knows what a Republican and a Democrat is. Why does everyone just know what that is? And I'm always the one that's like, what is the, what are those people called again? What do they do? What does that even mean? Do you have to be one if you have, what if you don't believe that, but you believe, like, I'm always that guy. And I'm just, you know what I mean? My whole life with everything, you know? I even like going way back as a kid and everyone, we're sitting in a classroom. I go into the classroom, I sit down because I'm a new student, going to a new school. And then we start, and they're like, okay, everyone knows how to do all this, let's do it. And I'm just sitting there like, why am I the only one that doesn't know how to do this? And I'll tell the teacher I don't understand their, their assignment, and they're like, you should have been doing this, you're in high school now. And I just go, I, <laughs> you know? That's like, just been my fucking existence. And so like, I guess that's how I treat everyone else. I'm like, you can fucking figure it out. You're going to have to use your brain a little bit and, and discover stuff. I can't keep leading you to these places. Because I, this is just how I felt, you know? When, when it, just when it comes to everything, even small things like when, when I first started playing in a band with my friends, I felt like they thought I knew more than I did, and I had no fucking idea. Like, you can do it. You know how to do this. And I would be like, guys, I literally have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Like, I don't, I didn't know this is how to do this. I couldn't even string together three fucking notes. You know what I mean? I was so out of it. I didn't understand. I didn't listen to music and think I want to be a part of it. I just did it because it's, it's what it felt. 
and that's just I'm trying to give as much examples as I can but that's just how it's always been I don't understand you know what I mean I got I got some my asshole boss at work was giving me shit for not knowing something there and he didn't believe me and I kept trying to tell him I don't know what the fuck you're talking about no one's ever said this to me what, what do you want me to do so if that's been my existence, right? If I've always felt like I'm just in the dark in life, and every time I try to shine a light into it, like, okay, I'm gonna try to know what everyone knows. I'm gonna pay attention to the modern culture. I'm gonna try to pay attention to politics. I do, and then I feel like, ooh, okay, I got an idea about this, and I try to talk about it, and no one understands. Because I, I don't, see, apparently I'm not seeing what they're seeing. And then I just feel alienated. Because I'm sitting here like, oh, they're like puppets, right? Like, it's, this is clearly on strings. This is almost like, this is entertainment. This isn't even real, right? Because that's all I'm seeing. And it's just like, no, it's, it is. Like, Republicans and Democrats. And, and then there's liberals and, and um, non-liberals, whatever the fuck those ones are called. Conservatives. And whatever the fuck all that means. And so, like, there's all this shit. And I'm like, so you got to learn lingo. you got to learn dialects. And you got to learn all these fucking little games and shit. My point is, if I feel this way, I'm expecting you to figure it out with my shit. You know what I mean? If, let's say you don't understand what the Titans are, I, I don't get that. Well, I don't have to tell you. Like, just watch the video and start forming some opinions, man, and throw them in the comments. And then we can talk about it there. If you don't understand the stones of the mind, another thing. Fucking talk about it there. To me... In all this stuff, I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. Like, I am not an intellectual. I'm not sitting here trying to tell people things because I think I'm so smart and so great and I want everyone to believe me and I'm trying to have my little fucking faggot YouTube opinion. No. It's just, I'm talking and this is how I feel. And in my life, I, don't, I never really felt like I needed to like, like prove myself. So if I make a mention of something, for instance, in a video, and I say, yeah, I think the circle, and then I think the chains of time are the motivating factors of the manifested and unmanifested. I think that is life, and the chains of time, um, the two motors that run it are the future and the past. I think that's how life is and stuff. If someone says, well, that's, you need to elaborate more on that, or that doesn't make sense, I'm just going to be like, I don't know, what to, that's it. There is no elaborate on that. I'm not here to convince you. I'm telling you how I feel about something. And if it doesn't make sense, that's awesome. That means you have a brain. You know what I mean? So it's okay. If you want to fall into it, sure. I'll try to help, but I'm not... I don't want a cult. I don't want to have a fucking... What's the word? I don't want a product that people will enjoy, I guess. That's not what I'm trying to do here, you know? Um, I'm not trying to make money. I don't want fucking money. I need money. But I don't want it. And I don't want to fucking play that shit. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of going to work and making money all the fucking time. I don't want the fucking money. But you have to have the money. Right? You have to pot you have to pay for this fucking house. You have to pay for that fucking car out there. Like all that kind of dumb shit. I don't want it. But I got it. So if that's how I feel about that, well I come to the book here. I'm not trying to sell you shit. I'm not making flashy videos to make money. I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to convince you that what I'm thinking of the mythology of my book is something that you need to believe too because it's good for you. Like, no, I'm not. I'm just doing it, you know, because I like it. And I enjoy something in it that I still don't know what it is. I feel like I hate it, but there's got to be something I enjoy in it. Maybe I enjoy the fucking suffering. Who knows? But I just like, that's when, basically I'm saying all this because... That's why I get so frustrated making these, because it almost feels like now there's a, I'm in a pressure cooker, and it's not even that big. Somehow I have 370 subscribers, but my newest videos only have 33 views. Go figure on that, right? But there's not many people. That's not like, oh man, millions of people. Like, I don't even know what I would do with that. I'd probably just close it down. Like, I'm not going to sit here and have fucking arguments with a bunch of schizophrenics. Like, I'm tired of it. Because sometimes, some comments, man, the people that get in, that find these videos are very unique people. 
and they start speaking like I know what they're saying, which is how it always goes. I swear to God, I'll, I'll read some comments and I'm like, who? You realize I'm not in your head, right? I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, you're saying shit that you formed over the years. I did not. You have to dial it back. Like I'm dialing back the Titans and the Aeon. If I start coming at you all the way with Eris and his journey, you're not going to be like, what the fuck is he talking about? So I'm dialing it back and I'm choosing to make the, the Forgotten Podcast series so I can show you here's how it came. You know what I mean? I'm trying my best to dial it back and let you come in with it. But I'm not an entertainer, man. I don't know how to do it in a way that's like naturally enthralling. I just, I don't know, man. I get just like... The minute I feel like I have to do something because people want me to do it is always the minute I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. Fuck them. I'm going to sit here and explain myself to people. Like, that's that's my my mode whenever I feel like I have to do something. And I guess the channels kind of felt like, yeah, now I have to... Now I have to do this. Not for me anymore. For them. Everyone's gonna, everyone wants a new thing, they want their own video, they want more explanations, and I'm like, god damn it, dude. But it's not like it's a bad thing, it's just something I'm not used to. Because I'm a loner, right? Like, I'm always by myself, I don't, I don't need to explain to myself, myself. So it's just like a, it's a new thing for me. But there is part of me that debates on just deleting the channel, starting over, doing a new one. Just kind of going over here, you know? I've debated on it, just saying, fuck this. But there's a few people that I notice consistently watch the videos. There's like maybe two or three of them that watches almost all of them. And that's the only reason I'm sticking around, is for those few people. My biggest fault is my loyalty. <laughs> that's my biggest fault in life. Like, oh god, they need me, in a way, even if it's a small need. Alright, I'll suffer. I mean, shit, that's why I have this house. That's why I have my life. I just feel like I'm, you know, well, that's what they need from me. Just to be around? All right, I'll fucking be around. I'll find a way to keep living. But man, is it hard to do it every day. To so just live for people every day, I should say. Sacrifice, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Because the minute you tell people that, they're always like, well, well, do, no, not for them, do it for you. I'm like, for me, for me is ending this shit. For me is not being here anymore. For me, it's like not playing. I don't want a job. I don't want a fucking bills. I don't want to sit and, and do the same fucking shit over and over and over again. I don't want a new vehicle. I don't want a boss. Uh, I don't want a lot of things. What do I want? I don't know. To be a scoundrel, sometimes. To be not a good person. That's what I want. You know? Like, I want the bad things sometimes in life. I want to, like, be with a bunch of different women. I want... To be nomadic and just like fuck it you know and move around and stuff i want no nothing to hold me down that's what i like really really want i want true absolute freedom <clears throat> but i know more like morality wise that that's wrong you know you can't do that you hurt people doing stuff like that you can't use people so I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I've heard it once said that I really teeter on being a bad person, and I do. I really do. I, I, there's times that I really want to be a piece of shit. You know, it'd be so much easier. But I don't allow it. I'm always fighting that side of me. I'm always trying to be a good guy. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be helpful and caring and kind and compassionate and understanding and, and asking people how they feel about things and, and getting in there and helping them. But there's a lot of times I don't want to fucking do that, you know? That I want to not give a fucking shit. And I want to be left the fuck alone, but 
I know you can't do that. You need to be Mr. Kindness. But it's, it's tough sometimes, you know? I don't necessarily feel like I'm fighting a demon inside. I just feel like I'm trying to be the best person for everyone else. Because I don't necessarily know who the best person for me is. I kind of feel like I'm in a prison. And, like, that's the worst thing for me. Is to be locked in somewhere. You have to live here. You have to work here. You have to do this. Like, that kind of stuff. I feel like I'm fucking in prison. And I know I shouldn't feel that way. Because that hurts people's feelings when you say that. Then your wife's asking you, oh, do you feel like you're in prison with me? And your family says, oh, do you feel like we're, you know, like, th that's what happens. Like, whenever I, that's why I don't say these things, because it's like, the minute I do, everyone will start to feel bad about it. And I'm not saying they're right or wrong, because I don't know. I'm like, maybe I do feel like I'm in your prison. I don't know. I just have an, a, a, a vague emotion. I never really dwelled too much into it, because I don't want to depress myself. You know? So that's kind of like how it always is for me and trying to find how to make myself happy and you not need in my leg how to make myself happy I don't know I keep thinking I'm doing that but then the minute I do I, it ends up becoming for other people like this channel and and, and the um, the videos I make they were only for me this is my shit I guarantee you, there's like 33 views on the Forgotten Episode 3 series. I bet 10 of them are from me. Because I, I love it. I love that shit. That's who it's for. It's not for other people. But the minute I start getting questions on things, it reminds me like, oh, this is probably supposed to be for other people, not for me. And I think that depresses me. That I have to sit and fucking make these these videos of my work of my shit that I enjoy doing and I have to like make it for others now we can't you know like I, that's just depressing I guess it just depresses me it's like wow I can't even have that I have to share everything I got and and I know that that's kind of like this tenant thing right they say and well, what, I, what if I don't want to share all my shit you know because essentially sharing the video and sharing the the book and all that's sharing my mind I and mean, that's all I'm doing it doesn't come across so but I'm literally allowing you into my brain and my soul and my consciousness and I'm allowing you to see it with me and doing that every because I've always done that I just lose more and more and more of myself until I don't even know who I fucking am at, at some point like, especially with this channel now I just feel like I'm an amalgamation of a bunch of different fucking people. And I don't even... I'm like, who the fuck is the real me? Who's the guy that's uninfluenced by outside sources? That is the fucking person I'm trying to find. The thing that I identify as God. The thing I identify as the creator. Who's that untampered with self deep inside of me? And where do I find him? How do I, and that's the whole Mount Sorrow shit. That's the whole Valley of Seclusion going to Mount Sorrow where the guardian of sorrow hides. It's like, I need to get inside the mind of God. I need to find him. I need to find the real me. Not the me that's like partly this person and partly that one. And this person influenced me. And that guy in TV said something that influenced me. And this person said something that influenced me. And this book that influenced me. And my parents who influenced me. Like, I'm, I'm trying to peel away these layers and find the fucking real me. But all this time I've been doing it, I'm getting met with outside sources asking questions about myself. And then they ask it in their own certain way. So it'd be like, like I was saying earlier, they have their own dialogue, they have their own mind, and they think we just kind of get it, and they're gonna ask me through that lens. 
you're gonna say shit to me that I have no clue what you're talking about. So now, I, instead of me answering you like me, I have to get out and get in your little fucking box and see how you define things and go, oh, from this angle, this is what I am. That's tiring. Because we got two conflicting things. You have me, weird, esoteric, doesn't make any fucking sense guy. Another guy coming at me with his language and his understanding and his realizations of life and the shit he's into, talking about red pill, black pill, and downloads and shit like that. And he's coming at me with that shit and I'm just like, I don't even know how to answer. I am going to have to get in your head and, and figure out the best way to define this for you. That I, I just cannot keep doing because it's too fucking much because that's all I've ever been doing. And, but me saying this is, that's what I mean when I say I have a really, it means I have a really fucking hard time being back in my true self. Frederick? Very hard time doing that. Yeah, you better lay down, cutie pie. Handsome. That's kind of why it's tough sometimes. Now, don't get me wrong. We're going to zoom out of that, um, those vibes. I get out of that shit and I start doing my own thing again. It just, that's what I'm, that's the weight. And that's why you feel a weight when, uh, when I talk about things. Or there is a weight on certain videos. I, I'm trying my best to stay myself. I'm trying my best to discover myself. I'm trying my best to be the best person I can be even though I want to be not a good person. I'm doing everything I possibly can do to continue to live through this life. I know that I'm supposed to do things for me. I'm just trying to figure out what that is. But I know at the same time that I should be helpful to other people and be a good person. And I, I do as best I can in that regard as well. I have troubles with women. I always have and I always will. You know? It's not even about hooking up with a bunch of them. I just love falling in love. That's just something that I'm working on. I'm trying to not do that so much. But I fucking love it. I enjoy it. Can't do it though because you're married. So that's something like I know I'm capable of, but I'm not allowing it is my, my point. But in that not allowing, I'm trying to discover why I need to in the first place. Right? So I'm to, to take the weight off the video a little bit. I am actively, I feel these things, of course, these darknesses as anyone else does. But I'm well aware of them and I keep my eye on them. You know, if I'm mischievous, I keep my eye on that. If I have this melancholia because I don't know who I am, I keep an eye on that. If I don't want to live anymore and blow my fucking brains out, I'll keep my eye on that one as well. Th that's just generally how it is. I'm just always watch these things. Not only that, but try to unravel them a bit. It's, it's pretty deep, man. It's not a simple, like, it's childhood trauma. Like, it can be, sure. But getting to that point, it doesn't take a few days. It's going to be a long process. And so, a lot of this stuff here, these videos especially, you're kind of being, you're, gonna, you're unraveling it with me. And you're kind of being my therapist, in a sense, by listening to them. Which I'll call this video self-therapy. That is what a lot of this channel is because once I make a video like this, I feel fucking better. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, I can do some work, you know. I have to let this shit out every once in a while or else I'm just, I can't do anything. But anyway, let's get to the day off. Um, I don't know if I should call this video self-therapy or be my therapist. We'll find out. <laughs> 